Hello everybody, my name is Parak, and in today's video I wanted to share how I went over leveling up my Anomaly level. And of course I'm just using my Dual Blades build for this because it's very fast, it's very reliable using a Berserk 2 with a 3 and a 1 slot. And here are the skills and decorations of course, all the green numbers are from decorations. But more importantly, today I'm going to show you how to, or how I went about leveling up. The best way I've found to level up is to go after the highest tier monsters that you can get access to. So obviously the highest ones here are going to be your Crimson Glow Valstrax, your Shigaru. Otherwise you got the, the Seething Basil Geese is another really good one. I would say you can go fight the Elders as well, but they generally take a bit longer to kill. So I suggest doing Seething Bagel instead. If you haven't got Seething Basil yet, you can go fight Diablos as well, he's fantastic. And before that, again, just go after the highest tier monsters you can. Nagakuga, Baryoth, both good. Raknikadaki is very good. A lot of part breaks, a lot of materials. As for what quests to look for, you want to look for anything with negative modifiers on them. So lower times, less participants, limited amount of cards. All of them need to be as low as humanly possible to get the most amount of experience. Note, you could also do multi-monster hunts to get a little bit more experience, but it, it generally depends on how fast you can kill both of them. You could also go after the requested monsters if you want a little bit more variety, just go do them. They're at the bottom right here. You can see it wants me to kill a Gerototus for some extra bonuses. But I generally just go farm the monster that I want to farm. And with that out of the way, let's go kill a monster. Let's go get Diablos out of the way first. Also, don't be afraid to bring your followers along. They just make it faster. They don't increase the monster's health or anything. So they're just there to help you. And why specifically this Diablos as well as the Seething Basil Geese? They have some fantastic hit zones, especially elemental wise, which this game is built almost entirely around which make them very, very easy to kill and very quick to kill. They're also both quite predictable with literally everything that they do, so it makes them very, very manageable for pretty much every player. Uh, I think I'm too far. No, I'm not. Perfect. Just spiral thrust into him. That's fine. I'm gonna eat that, and then demon mode. Do some more damage. Okay, back into him. Should head slam, which he did. Counter, and then we spiral thrust. Or Spiral Slash, that's what it's called. Counter that way. Okay, very easy. As you can see, Dual Blades make this kind of a joke. You just get to bully him until he goes down, essentially. It's very, 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 very easy. You just keep on going. Just don't get complacent, otherwise you'll probably mess you up. It is Berserk, though. That's why we run it. It's very safe. Gives you a lot of extra damage as well. Counter. Didn't quite counter in time. That's fine. We got Anomaly Blight. And we got the healing from one of the healing horns. I generally recommend both healing horns, just either go with uh, Itsushi or um, Minoto is a good one if you want to play ranged weapons as well, because she has the Stink Mink, which essentially drags like threat to her, or aggro. Okay, another Spiral Slash, there's our damage check. Uh, we want to go the butt if I can, because it's the weakest spot for me, and I can attach to it with Spiral Slash, as you can see. Nice and easy, get another one while he's tired. No stagger? Oh, we got it. Nice. They'll also take the mount for you so you can keep doing damage. You don't have to worry about auto mounting yourself. So you can turn that off and get more damage in, as you see. Also reset my thing here. Just because we took a hit before. I think one hit. Something like that. Nice. Got water blight. Just extra damage. It's good. Again, go to the tail because it's the best spot for me. Just like that. Slap into another one. Nice and easy. These shouldn't take you too long to kill, in all honesty. You get better at fighting them as you go as well. But uh, a build like this just tears them apart. Especially with the Diablos and the uh, Seething Basil, as you'll see. Both of them you hit in roughly the same area too. So you don't have to like change your strategy or anything. Just stay under them. Hit the underbelly and you'll do lots of damage for free. Oh, shook it off. Get another Spiral. Okay, go into his body, got an infernal for more damage, counter towards him because he hits twice and the tail will hit you as well. Dog bit onto him, staggered him, was a little bit unfortunate but that's fine. Another spiral, oh that should have hit me but we take it. Some more hits, shook it off, or well, shook the dog off at least. That's the other good part, the dogs uh, that the followers bring also do a decent bit of damage as well as the uh, like stagger there. Okay. Mmm. Good hitboxes. It's fine. Slap into spin. Okay. 
Ooh, that should have hit me. At least it normally would have hit me there. That's okay, counter that way. Just to chase him down, he's already blue. Nice and easy, another damage check, another spiral. We should beat the Bloodlust somewhat soon, so we should have our Wirebugs back from Wirebug Whisperer 3. And Frenzy Bloodlust, of course. There's a Tail Cut. You don't need to worry about getting calves or anything from the Tail Cuts either. They don't actually give materials. But there you go, 3 minute Diablos. Very easy. Easy monster. Doesn't take much to deal with at all in this game. And let's go ahead on to the next one. Alrighty, another good part about fighting these two particular monsters, they're both weak to the same element, so you can use the same build on them as well. So you only need to build one element set, and then you can level up as much as you want. You also want to fight the highest level monsters that you have, in case that wasn't mentioned. If you fight them at the highest level, you get the most experience, of course. Oh yeah, and of course you could also get these monsters together, that would be quite a good quest to have, especially if there's modifiers and stuff to give you even more experience. Because with multiple monsters, they also have reduced health. So you could kill both of them quite quickly, probably in the same amount of time. You just get more experience per hunt. Should be quite advantageous. Also, with getting said quests, you can just play and play and play. You'll eventually get some really good quests yourself. But you could also get friends to host it. You could go into lobbies and they'll post it. There's plenty of ways you can get some decent quests. But... Otherwise, you just gotta tough it out. Keep fighting them, you'll get better ones as you go. I can almost guarantee it, you'll just have to keep playing to get them. Okay. What's this seething bagel doing? Oh, he's uh, nuking already. That's okay. Just wait for him to come down. Counter at the last second. So, uh, no, like, end lag or end animations actually hit you there. Easy spiral. Nice, good stagger by the dog. As said, the dogs can, uh, at least their dogs can stagger when they do the latch on attack. Your dogs can do that too. Um, I can't remember what it's called. It's like, uh, the claw thing? Or like the teeth thing? The one that bites them. You'll, uh, see the symbol if you go looking for them. It's the same kind of ability. But generally you want to run, like, uh, chain blades with a blitz scroll or flurry scroll. Or healing. Depends what you need or what you want, I guess. Into the butt once again. Do one of them into another one. I should have done a slap into it instead, because it would have come out faster and we probably could have gotten that third one without getting hit. But that's okay. Just recover into him. We've got Anomaly Blight, so we get to heal. Nice and easy, like. While I've got Anomaly Blight, I'm just going to keep hitting him to heal. So it's no big deal. Okay, keep going. Keep a going. Chase him down. Some more. Yeah, just bully him. Probably raw here in a second. We didn't knock him down? God damn. We'll swap there. Because no anomaly blight anymore. Spiral slash that. Big spin. Broke his face. Yeah. Just holding my wire bug. Never mind. <laughs> I was going to hold it till he roared. There it is. I knew it. It's alright. No big deal. Demon mode. Oh. There. Yeah. Easy stuff, we get the mounts. As I said, the followers will take the mounts, same as last hunt, so you just get to do damage into it. Spend them both, because they'll probably take long enough to come back. Maybe grab an extra as well, since my cat throws them down. And just wait. As you can see, they're all back now. Just easy damage. No reason not to. Start with a spiral. Into a slap, into another one. Should probably only get two here. Maybe three? Hey, he roared. That was quite lucky. Woke up and chose raw. Very, very lucky. Run into him. Okay, get some more. It's after one of the followers, I think. Get another spiral. Nice, knocked him down. Slap into another one. And slap into another one again. Very, very easy. As I said, you should be able to do this with pretty much any weapon you want as well. The, the monster matchup won't change in the slightest. They honestly don't get that much scarier with more health. Just takes a lot longer to kill. Well, not a lot longer. Some of them are, like get quite obsessive helpfuls, like 300 and uh, special investigation. But obviously, you don't have to worry about leveling at that point because you're already there. There's a tail cut, nice. And he got staggered like perfectly, so we didn't actually miss any of that. Slap into another one. No intrepid heart, but we staggered. Slide into him, and another one. Should be about one more spiral away. Maybe here. 
Not quite? It's gonna be so close. Most of a missed, unfortunate. And he's down. Yeah, as you can see, nice and easy. They're both pretty quick to kill. Four minutes, three minutes, 40. Of course, my build is quite optimized. It's a berserk setup. It's very, very strong. Basically the way to go with dual blades, it does a lot of damage. And it's very, very safe to use. But that's how you can level up quickly. Go fight those monsters. If you're feeling ballsy and you can kill them quickly, go fight Risen Shigaru and Risen Valstrax. As well as the other three Risen Elders, they'll give a lot of experience. But they generally take longer to kill pretty much every time. Well everybody, that was showing how I went about leveling up my Anomaly rank. There are many, many ways you can do this. I just recommend the path that leads to the least amount of burnout. So do some multiplayer, do some SOS hunting, try out new weapons. Just do any of that stuff while fighting these monsters because they are quite quick to deal with. As always though, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you on the next one.